One of the things that we need to understand when we're talking about Luther and the Pope, and indeed uh, the Reformation that Luther got started, was simply the fact that um, uh, Luther wasn't attempting to create a Lutheran church. Uh, he was not, uh, you know, a, a violent schismatic or, or one of those uh, fellows like uh, uh, Joe Smith, the Joseph Smith, the founder of the Mormon Church, who believed that all uh, Christians prior to him were wrong, that he had new revelation from God, uh, and that he was therefore attempting to create uh, a church that had disappeared since the time of the apostles and perhaps was better than the, uh, the Church of the Apostles. Uh, Joe Smith famously said that no man had, uh, including Jesus Christ, had done more uh, to save people. When in fact, Joe Smith, if you follow his system of uh, doctrine, you will not be saved. But what Luther was doing was attempting to return the, uh, to reform the Roman Catholic Church and to bring it back to the teaching of the Bible, not to create a new church in any sense of the word. But in the meantime, uh, let's go ahead and, and get started on uh, reading that section. Today we're going to be reading chapter 21, uh, Luther and the Pope of Sketches from Church History. And I will go ahead and begin by praying. I hope you'll join me. God, our gracious Father, we thank you, Lord, for raising up men in the past who had uh, fire in their bones when it came to the gospel, whether it was prophets in the Old Testament or men like Luther in the modern age, who, although they were not inspired, loved the inspired word and desired to bring the church back to the fountain of all truth, that is your scripture. Uh, Lord, we know that he lived a hard life. Uh, he died um, relatively young by our terms, but having uh, been spent in the defense of the gospel, he was certainly not a perfect man, but we do thank you for Martin Luther. We thank you for his...